Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back doing your mid-October 2015 monthly tarot horoscopes. And this is for everyone with their Ascendant Sun or Moon in the lovely Aries. And I'm back doing my um, regular, you know, readings with the uh, Shadowscapes deck by Stephanie Puimula. Uh, it's hard to say her name sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. And um, uh, a couple things, I did activate or enable the fan funding uh, <clears throat> link on my YouTube channel. So for those of you who'd like to donate uh, to support my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and um, other than that, uh, there's really not much other news. Uh, you're more than welcome to message me or email me if you'd like a private reading. Um, emailing me is best. It's elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people have been asking me my pricing and it's $75 per hour and I do usually book a one hour session. Um, I've never gone under the hour so um, that's why I do that. And then the um, other thing people are asking me is if I do one question readings or email readings and I don't. Um, and anybody who emails me private questions, I usually encourage to do a session because I don't answer um, private questions via email. So uh, just giving you a heads up there. So anyways, um, let me roll out the spread for you, see what you guys get. Again, this is for mid-October, the, the last half of October to the end of October. Um, and it's for everyone with their ascendant sun or moon and the lovely Aries. So let's see what you get. Okay, so I'm just going to start with, uh, this is kind of a complex spread. Um, I'm going to start with what's going on at the center of everything right now, okay, in this, the present moment, the track that you're on, you're the King of Pentacles, which is the Mr. Right card, okay, which for Aries guys, this is you. Okay, Aries females, you may be in a relationship with another Aries guy. It could also be Taurus, Capricorn, um, Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, <laughs> uh, male. Okay, um, I usually, I can see the pe uh, King of Pentacles as being pretty much anybody in the Zodiac. Um, this is someone who generally has money, uh, has some savings. Doesn't have to be a lot, but it, it's usually some savings. Um, and because you have the Empress crossing you, this is the Summer Fairy. Someone also um, could be some kind of Aries Leo or Aries Sag combination. Um, she doesn't always, the Empress can be also any one in the Zodiac, but I see her as being the Summer Fairy. So a lot of times she shows up as having a lot of fire elements in her chart um, or some fire elements in her chart. Because the Empress typically represents pregnancy, and because the King of Pentacles is holding this acorn, this could be pregnancy for those of you who have wanted to get pregnant for a long time, okay? Um, you know, specifically, I feel like, again, this could be like an Aries-Aries combination. Um, I feel, I feel like that's just something that for, for those of you, even those of you who are not expecting to get pregnant, this is for those of you who are childbearing age, this is you, okay? Uh, most likely getting pregnant, so glove up if you don't want to, okay? That's just something that I <laughs> tell people to do, <laughs> that you gotta do. Uh, that's what's going on. Um, this is also, to me, this is like a really strong, you know, uh, center, um, Things are good right now, okay? Right now, in the now, there's money. In the now, you have the, there's this romance, there's creativity, you have the power to achieve your heart's desire. You know, that's the Empress. The Empress is abundance. Um, there's a, this is like abundance. This is abundance gone supernova. For some of you, this is big wealth. 
This is a lot of wealth. This is prosperity. This is having um, a significant amount of money, I want to say. Um, some of you are independently wealthy or just have saved up a, a, a lot. You know, this is a nest egg, um, potentially. Um, for those of you who are looking for romance, this is a very strong romantic time. This is very um, love-centered time. Um, it's a great time for love just as well as it is a great time for money and career for you. Um, so mid-October is looking really good. You have had, I want to say, a tricky uh, past, okay? In the past, in the distant past, you have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is fear, okay? So you don't really have too much of a foundation right now because you have this so much fear. And I, and I talk about the Aries having fear, uh, things kind of blown up in the, in the Aries mind. Um, things are blown up out of proportion because Aries has, in a way, uh, you know, they're the infant of the Zodiac, the baby of the Zodiac, okay? Um, and everything, you know, if you're thinking, okay, when you're a baby, everything looks bigger. You know, I think it was Jerry Seinfeld who was talking about that. <laughs> you know, you go back to your parents' house and you look at your room and it's like, you could, it's so small, you could crush it. <laughs> That's what he said in one of his, his stand-up uh, things. It was just, it was hilarious. And so, this is true. Um, when you go back to your parents' house, you know, after not being there for so long, your room seems like really small. It's like... <laughs> You couldn't possibly fit in it now. There, there's no way, you know. But when you're a child, it's everything seems really big. And so that's kind of right now, you have a lot of fears, worries, doubts, all that stuff. Everything lo is looking bigger, cloudier than it should. You know, again, it's you holding up your hand, you know, in the dark to make that monster, you know. And it's it's not... It's just a shadow. The shadow that's projected on the wall is so much bigger than your hand. So don't project negativity. Um, you really need to focus on positive thinking, Aries. You really need to get out of your head, um, out of the, you know, I'm going to lose, everyone's against me. Um, you know, there's also commitment phobia, you know. Um, this is, you know, being hurt so much that, you know, you're just, you're tired of being hurt. You don't want to get hurt anymore. Um, this is just that, those feelings and, and then those fears. And it's interesting because when I talk about certain cards represent things, um, to people, and I think a lot of people, there's people that are like, especially Capricorns, they like want to know, like, what's going to happen. They don't really want to, they don't really care, um, about the energy. They just want to know, am I going to make money? <laughs> am I going to be in a relationship? Um, you know, am I going to be successful? And that's it. And I think a lot of people deep down, like that's their main bottom line. But as this is the foundation, the bottom line for you is to really work on positive thinking. That's the bottom line for you. Um, and you also have a tricky recent past, which is the devil card. Which is temptation or feeling stuck in a marriage or stuck in a relationship that you cannot, feeling like you can't get out of. But the thing is, is this person can walk away. This person can walk this way and get out. The door is open. The door is not shut. So the trap is of your mind. The trap is in your mind. And the devil is, you know, taunting you and saying, if you leave, you know, What's going to happen to you? You're going to freeze because you got no clothes. You got nowhere to go. Nobody loves you. That's what the devil is saying. That's what your partner is saying. But the truth is, you can go. The door is open. Um, that's it. Take your, take your, you know, bags. Take your shoes. You know, take your checkbook and go. That's it. Um... The devil is also, you know, for some of you, you know, struggling with an addiction problem or being in a relationship with someone who has an addiction problem or knowing someone who has had an addiction problem, okay? The devil is that person that has struggled with drugs and alcohol. So for some of you, you may have, you may be struggling a little bit with an, uh, either an alcohol addiction or drug addiction. There's some, there's some temptation of worldly things. Um, but in the center of everything, 
You know, there's there's money there. There's there's creativity there. There's the ability to achieve your heart's desire. And the funny thing is, Aries have the fire to do it, to get it done, you know? Um, there is nothing holding you back. The only thing that has held you back is your mind. What you've created in your mind, the fears, the paranoia, the negativity, um, <clears throat> feeling stuck. It's not real, okay? It's all an illusion. It's not real. Um, so you really need to work on overcoming that. And, you know, there's also an element of you feeling very lost and confused. Because um, I pulled another card for, you know, feeling in the distant past to get the moon card. There's also deception. There's also, you know, there's also a card about drugs. So some of you have had issues with drugs. Okay. Others um, are just kind of lost, feeling very lost and confused on your way. Um, and and you're, you're just not sure where to go from here. And I always say, it's time to, to just do it, you know, uh, to make some plans. Mercury is out of retrograde. Venus is out of retrograde. It's time. Time to revamp, redo, renew your life because, you know, it's, there's nothing holding you back except you. Um, and, you know, this is where you go get a new haircut. You get kind of like, you know, one of the, you know, like a makeover, you know, Aries. It's time for a, a refresh, you know. Maybe get a haircut. Maybe get a makeover. Maybe get some new clothes. Uh, figuring out what, how, I mean, it's really, Aries is all about you, you know. Uh, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Um... It's not about the other, because remember, the Lib Libra is the shadow. It's not about the other. So you have the money to do it. You can do whatever you want. Uh, there's nothing holding you back. So go. You know, Walter Matthau says in, in The Odd Couple, you want to go, so go. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you that, Aries. You want to go, so go. That's what I say. Um, you know, I feel like you you have the element of waiting here. Anything there's delays, um, waiting, anything you're waiting on, um, I say go. I say go. The universe is saying go. Don't wait. You may wait for a little while, but I feel like, you know, waiting, any kind of delay, anything that delays or puts things off, you're not in the flow of the universe. Yes, there are timing things. And yes, you want to get your ducks all in a row, but... Um, Aries, a lot of times fire signs overdo or underdo things. Their timing is off, okay? So they stick around longer and they overcook the meal, okay? Or they rush and they undercook the meal, okay? And they don't put enough time into it. Or they just have a one-night stand or they don't, they don't put all of their energy into it because their energy is going into something else. So they have a timing issue thing. So I feel like it's hard for an Aries to wait. Uh, patience is necessary. If there's something that you are waiting on and you know that it has to be done, you have to be patient, um, then that's it. Um, don't get stuck in the negativity, though. Just know that you need to be patient and then things will change. And you do need to go out. You need to go out and be active and sing and dance and have fun, you know, and show the world who you are. That is a crucial thing. Um, so you have that, um, and okay, so I think what was crowning you is the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles is, you know, a great co-worker card, feeling very supported by someone, this is also in a partnership, feeling very supported, or, um, you know, feeling just like empowered to achieve, you know, more um, and climb the ladder. And, you know, you may be looking for a partner who is supportive of you, someone who does want the best for you. Um, this is also having strong creative ability, um, artistic creativity. Um, some of you, um, you know, may be creative with your hands, some of you may be painters. Some of you may be ch uh, teachers, I want to say. Um, for those of you who are watching this, I feel like you have multiple talents. 
um, there is no need to be confused because you know who you are and you have talents and abilities. Some of you are artists and musicians, you know, and um, some of you are very focused on career, but that's okay. Um, that's, you know, a step forward for you, I think. Um, you also have in the immediate future the Seven of Cups, which is moving, okay? A lot of times this is moving, this is buying a house or selling a house or dreaming big, okay? Planning a, planning a trip. Again, I was saying, you know, you need to plan, you need to plot, you need to plot. <laughs> be devious, Aries, be devious, you can do it, okay? There's nothing wrong with being a little devious in that, okay? Um, so, so yeah, so some of you, you know, you got this, you got this big dreams, big plans going on, um, and that's the Seven of Cups. Um, that's mid-October, could even be, um, you know, things with houses and things with property and things with travel can can happen at different times. Again, you have some timing issues here, Aries, I want to say. Timing is key, okay, for you. So if you're waiting, say, um, say you, you find a house and you're like, I really like that house, it's a timing thing, okay? Maybe you're planning a move and you're like, hey, you know, I really want to move, but... Da, 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 da. It's a timing thing, okay? Don't wait too long, okay? So you need to kind of get your ducks in a row. Don't wait too long and go. Um, and I almost want to say you may move um, before your ducks are in a row. I feel like that's what the universe is calling you to do. Um, that's just my opinion and that's what's coming up in the cards. So, you have, um, so you have the fool in the position of, um, <clears throat> your emotions, which is needing to take a leap of faith. Um, this is also travel, um, getting on an airplane, flying, literally flying to different place. Um, you may be traveling end of October, going somewhere. Um, you've got the Three of Swords coming in from the outside. So you may feel very, like, whatever situation has gone on uh, in your relationship, uh, partner, whether it's a partner, or boyfriend, or girlfriend, it doesn't matter. There may have been some kind of trauma. There may have been some kind of sacrifice, some kind of loss. This can also include a death in the family. This can include... Um, feeling hurt by others, um, having to make sacrifices, feeling like maybe you've sacrificed a lot and maybe your partner hasn't sacrificed at all. This is heartbreak. This is feeling very heartbroken. Um, so some of you are getting over, will need to be getting over being hurt in some way. Um, you know, it just feels to me like, you know, this is also backstabbed, you know, feeling like backstabbed for whatever reason. Um, and just feeling like it's interesting because you have the Three of Swords, which is, you know, the swan, which could have a broken wing. Okay, she's broken in a way. She She's too hurt. She can't fly. Okay, so in a way, even if her wing's not broken, it's it's sort of metaphorically broken. Um, and you have the Fool, which is flying. So there's this push-pull element again. It's sort of just like maybe you want to go, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? You're feeling too hurt to go. But you got to... You got to realize that time heals all wounds, okay? And you can't cling on to this pain. You have to let the pain go. The only way to get rid of pain is to embrace the joy. Because once you embrace joy, you have to let go. There has to be that emptiness for it to be filled up again. So you need to forgive. You need to live, you know, live and let God or let go and let God you know, and, and spread your wings and fly, um, regardless of the hurt and the pain. You have to heal. I feel like you have to heal. There, there is some healing that is needed to happen. Um, in the position of your attitude, you have the Three of Cups, which is, it, now this is the end of October, okay? Three of Cups is, um, you know, going out and being social, 
you know, maybe going out having a glass of wine with some girlfriends, um, getting together with people that you enjoy, needing to go out and start dating again. Um, the thing is, is that there really is no antidote to this loss. It's just you need to let go of the pain or else you won't be able to move on. You literally need to move on. Um, I feel like you need to focus on career more because the universe has, is giving you a lot of these career cards. So it's sort of like, and you've got the two of wands here for the way to overcome the three of swords is to focus on your position in the world, to become empowered, to not let anything hold you back. In a way, the universe is forcing you to grow and the universe is forcing you to, in a way, grow up. Aries needs to mature. It takes a lot for an Aries to mature because Aries is like, again, the infant and cries and cries some more. <laughs> so, so the only way, and, and this, is, this is not just for Aries, this is for everybody in general. The reason we're here, life, the universe, is here is because we're having spiritual growth through physical experience okay works works we're here to experience spiritual growth through by having that physical body okay by experiencing physical pain by experiencing physical loss by experiencing you know um, death um, that is how we grow if there is no pain there is no, you know, the opposite would be, you know, um, well, I don't see the opposite of being pain, being um, joy. Joy is the third. So it's the opposite of pain is, to me, it's love. And, but it's, it's polar. So we need to get to the joy. You let go of the pain, which is the opposite of love, and you, you embrace joy, which is, which is that, that third, it's a cycle of three, okay? So, I feel like I'm not making much sense here, but it's the joy that you need to get to. That's the point of all of it. Literally, that's the point of the triangle. The joy is on top. Um, and so, the only way to get that is to understand, okay, you're here to experience this loss. You're here to experience the sacrifice. You're here to experience the pain. But now that you've experienced it, you, you can grow from it. Something you need to learn from and to grow from and uh, embrace the joy. That's it. Um, if you don't, then you're going to miss out on a lot of fun because this is to me a lot of fun, a lot of fun times. And um, there's like the element of surprise and there, the element of surprise, which is the wheel of fortune with the, 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 the wild card. Um, it's almost like if you cling on to uh, if you cling on to the pain, you'll never know what could be and what could happen and, and all the possibilities that are out there. Because the, the Wheel of Fortune to me, and other, car, and other decks are different, but the Wheel of Fortune to me is like you exercising your free will, okay? And you saying, you know what? I'm going to spin this wheel and I'm going to go in whatever direction. You take the bull by the horns and you say, you know what? I'm going to go in this direction. This is where I want to go. I'm going to spin the wheel of fortune and it tick, tick, ticks down and onto that point and you get, you get it. But it's only because you spun the wheel. It's only because you went out and did it. It's only because you chose for something to happen. It's only because you manifested it to happen and it happened after you did that. So, um, for you, the outcome is the future has not been written yet because you have to decide. You have to make your mind up where you're going to go. You have to figure it out, <laughs> in other words. Um, but you can't have all of that potential um, um, to success if you're kind of hanging on to the pain. So my suggestion is if somebody hurts you or if you're going through some kind of breakup or you're feeling like really like the world has sent you the biggest, baddest pile of shit possible <laughs> and you're like, oh, holy fuck, <laughs> you know, what am I going to fucking do? You know, 
You can get past it. You can still get past it. You can do anything your heart desires. Um, why? Because you have the Empress and the Empress is being able to achieve everything that your heart desires. So even if you've been through some bad stuff, let it go. Move on, grow, learn from that experience and grow. That's the point. Um, failure to do so will, you know, I mean, you could win the, you could win the lottery. You can win the jackpot with the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is simply your fortune. You know, it is simply your life direction. It is simply you say, I want to do what I fucking want to do and I'm going to go do it. That's it. You know, put your foot down. Be, be strong. Be that Aries, be that strong Aries. Um, and do it. Um, and let nothing hold you back. Don't let the past, don't let the, the you know, don't let the, the devil, don't let um, any of your fears, don't let, you know, your confusion, all of that stuff is just, it's just dead weight, you know, it's time to let that go. Um, I think if you do, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Now, I am not legally responsible for those of you who say, Oracle Daphne told me to go buy a lottery ticket today. <laughs> I'm not legally responsible for that. Okay, I'm not saying you're going to win the lottery. Although, this would be the time, the end of October specifically, that, you know, your fortune is made or not made by you. Okay? Uh, I feel like you're going to have good fortune because, you know, Aries are hardworking people. They're very hardworking. And so you're going to get where you need to go only because you put the effort in and um, you're gonna have good fortune because you manifest it to be that way um, so you have to have more focus and you have to have more direction um, and usually the moon card it doesn't even matter what direction you go in it you know the universe is saying it's not written yet so you get to write it write your own say this is my ending this is what I want this is my happy ending this is how this is who I want it to be with you know um, and make that happen so the only way you're gonna make it happen though is if you go out um, you gotta go out so I tell you if you really really want a relationship seven nights a week you go out okay every single night ladies I hope you're listening to this because this is something crucial okay I meet a lot of women the women that are desperate for a relationship are women that never go out. Women are expecting to bump into him in that five minutes that they get home after work uh, and after the gym, you know, before they take a shower. That five minutes on their doorstep. They expect the man to, to fly in via helicopter, come down on a ladder, and, and be, in, be bump into them randomly between the time they open their car door and, and, and they walk up the pathway to the house or the apartment, okay? That, that the five minutes there, that is not a very big window, okay? Ladies, make it bigger, okay? Go out, please go out, you know? Uh, whether it's a happy hour or whether it's a restaurant or whether it's, you know, going downtown with some friends, you got to go out. I beg of you, please. Um, and let me know what happens. Message me if you do, okay? And I wish you luck. And I keep my fingers crossed for you. So that's all for now. Thank you guys so much. If you'd like a private reading, feel free to email me, elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. And I wish you guys all the best. And I send you big hugs. Big hugs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care.